The videos were supposed to be instructional. I was sent abroad in order to teach Filipinos here that would-be firefighters on how to become world-class. Unfortunately, the videos were attacked multiple times by opportunists who claimed my background music was infringing on their copyright. I have uh, no choice but to repost and re-edit the videos to meet the, co the current YouTube requirements. This vlog is about the rope bail training that I have posted before. So initially this was titled Rope Bail Instructor Version and Student Version. The first video shows instructor Nina Myers doing the rope bail. Because when you go out the window, you'll have a sudden fall. Okay, we don't want that. So nice and tight on your anchor. She gave clear instructions as you just heard right there. What is not seen was the setup. The rope was attached to a fire axe. Not seen on the video. I actually saw the fire axe when they had to reset it for the next squad. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film it. The rope she was holding onto was attached to the head and handle of the axe by a clove hitch. The axe was driven to the ground, which was wooden, and in the second floor of the smokehouse. Of course, safety measures were placed. There's an additional rope uh, securing the axe to the nearby wall. You can't see it because the the space I was filming on was very cramped. It was very tight. The second safety is here. Wow. You're going to put the rope okay. behind your back. You're going to take your arms wow. and move the rope to where you can have your... If you guys need to come over here, yeah. you can. To where everybody oh, yeah. can see. Uh, rope to where your left hand is out of the window. You're going to go out of the window at an angle with your head and body first. Your right leg is going to come out next and then your left leg is last and that kind of controls your swing so it's not a sudden jolt on your body and a big swing or a flip. Okay, we want a flip the window. Okay. And then you're going to grab both of the ropes. Actually, you're going to do this before you go out the window. You're going to grab both of the ropes here. This is your descent control, all right? Um, it, it causes enough friction that it won't allow you to free fall, all right? And the tighter you squeeze on this, the slower you'll go. And if you squeeze tight enough, you won't go anywhere, okay? So, um, this is important, having both of these ropes and both of your hands together here. And if it's apart like that, um, you're going to go pretty fast, and it may even pull your arms apart as well. Okay? You don't want to do that. Alright? Um, on rope! Seconds before she went out the window, she stated, on rope, and then outside, instructor Matthew Pittman shouted, on belay, there was a line attached to our waist that was called the belay line. In the field, both safety ropes were are not expected to be there. But because this was training, they had to do this due to the NFPA training standards. So, that's those cues, you want to do that every time. Okay, you want to do this When she dropped, there was a moment that she was suspended due to the belay being tugged. But in reality, you go on a gradual descent to the ground with your hands controlling the rope. She goes back to the second floor to give uh, to guide the next batch of trainees. Okay. Hey, 
In this second iteration of the video, you can see the fire student do the rope bail at one GoPro. So the rest of this video is due to good editing. I had the GoPro attached to my helmet before I did the evolution. Before I did the evolution. The third person view was from my comrade JR who was outside and who I gave the GoPro to. Although this was just a second floor window, this was scary. We were supposed to have our SCBAs on. Unfortunately, the SCBAs on will be a problem for the guy on the belay line. So prior to this exercise, we were shown a video of actual firefighters who did this on the field. And they had to jump from the fifth floor window. Of course, their rope was not long enough and they had to fall hard on the pavement below. They were injured but they're they're able they were able to live to tell their story the lesson here is to train hard while on this evolution while you are still uh, a training fire training a firefighter because you will be using this someday to save your life i remade this video not just to counter youtube's um new rules on revised content but rather this video was made so i can be able to uh, give instructions to the rest of you guys i have not been able to teach this evolution to firefighters since i made this video i, I have done nothing but public health ever since uh, i got back from the u.s oh. I had a mandate of work so I had to get back to it and I know it sucked I had to go through six months of training but I ha I, reality kicks in and I still have to do uh, all the doctor stuff but now I'm here telling you guys teaching you guys how to do the rope bail so through YouTube maybe I could have a chance to show uh, would be firefighters how this is being, how this is done this is part of firefighter training. You have to train hard as if your life depended on it. So if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and um, share. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And uh, hopefully I get to see you again. Ciao, peace out, and mabuhay.